Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, switchblade flying car to begin flight testing. AT-802U selected for U.S. SOCOM Overwatch program. Agricultural pilot certification program to be offered. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Switchblade flying car to begin flight testing. A flying car 14 years in the making has received FAA approval. Mind you, first flight approval and airworthiness certification are markedly different states of being. Approval conversely indicates only that the FAA has deemed an aircraft concept, in this instance, Samson Sky's switchblade, sufficiently developed for flight testing. In terrestrial applications, the switchblade is a three-wheeled vehicle after the fashion of the 1970s Robin Reliant. It accommodates two occupants in a side-by-side -side enclosed cockpit with 50 pounds of baggage space. The Switchblade's hybrid electric power plant drives a ducted, aft-mounted pusher propeller situated forward of a stowable, dual-vertical stabilizer T-tail empennage. The wings fold into its fuselage, spanning just under 27 feet and feature slotted flaps. The Switchblade's maker claims the machine will reach speeds of up to 200 statute miles per hour and a maximum altitude of 13,000 feet. A 500-mile range figure is cited, albeit in the absence of corresponding speed, altitude, atmospheric, and fuel burn datum. Samson Sky has put forth that the switchblade can transition between its road and sky-going incarnations in only three minutes. Earthbound, the switchblade is technically a motorcycle. Operating the Beastie will require a valid driver's license with motorcycle endorsement and a private pilot certificate, though rumors have been whispered that the switchblade may meet light sport aircraft criteria. After the break, Dennis Dunbar named Sun and Fun Director of Air Shows and Attractions. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Dennis Dunbar named Sun and Fun Director of Air Shows and Attractions. Sun and Fun, the Lakeland, Florida nonprofit dedicated to the promotion of aviation education and renowned for its annual week long fly in and air show, has named Dennis Dunbar its new Director of Air Shows and Attractions. Over the course of his two decades in the air show management business, Mr. Dunbar has helped organize hundreds of aerial events, ranging from fly ins to fleet weeks to Super Bowls. For the last 10 years, Dunbar has overseen the air shows at EAA's Storied Air Venture event. FAA to consider aircraft seat size regulations. The FAA, in hopes of finally acting on a 2018 congressional mandate, has announced an advance notice of proposed rulemaking inviting public comment on the minimum dimensions of commercial aircraft seats. The comment period, after the fashion of American societal memory, will endure for 90 days. During that time, members of the public may submit feedback, opinions, gripes, suggestions, etc. pertaining to the size of seats on commercial aircraft. The FAA will ostensibly factor public opinion gleaned during the comment period in the drafting of new regulations appurtenant to aircraft seat size. NTSB updates definition of unmanned aircraft accident. The NTSB has addressed shortcomings in the previous definition of, quote, unmanned aircraft accident in a recently published rule. The change is designed to help to address recent developments within the industry that have been made the prior weight-based definition somewhat lacking when determining the board's response to aircraft accidents. 
Under the older definition, a, quote, unmanned aircraft accident was an occurrence associated with the operation of an unmanned aircraft that takes place between the time the system is active, is associated with death or serious injury, or in which the aircraft is substantially damaged. Smart Sky announces nationwide coverage. Smart Sky Networks, formerly known as JetPool Ventures, delivers connectivity that affords air travelers data transmission rates both to and from their aircraft comparable to those of terrestrial systems. Smart Sky's real-time, low-latency, bidirectional data link ensures compatibility with and on-spec performance of new and enhanced apps, services, and hardware. On August 2, 2022, Smart Sky announced that its next-generation mobile broadband network is live across the contiguous United States. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. AT-802U selected for U.S. SOCOM Overwatch program. The U.S. Military Special Operations Command has selected the AT-802U Skywarden produced by Air Tractor and L3 Harris Technologies for its armed Overwatch program. Subject program seeks to replace the U-28A Draco Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance aircraft currently in service with USAF Special Operations Command. The aging Dracos, militarized Pilatus PC-12s, have supported Special Operations Team since 2006. The indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity Sky Warden contract will be worth up to $3 billion. Based in only Texas, Air Tractor is renowned for its agricultural and firefighting aircraft. The Sky Warden is based on Air Tractor's AT-802U, a 1600 shaft horsepower PT-6A 67F powered brute with a maximum gross takeoff and landing weight of 16,000 pounds and a useful load of 8,164 pounds. The AT-802U is the world's largest single-engine turboprop and promises to handily shoulder the defensive and offensive loads requisite the Overwatch program's close air support, precision airstrike, and armed ISR counterterrorism and irregular warfare missions. Initial production of the Sky Warden will take place at Air Tractor's facility in Olney. L3 Harris will subsequently modify the green airplanes into the armed Overwatch mission configuration at its Tulsa, Oklahoma Modification Center. And after these messages, Agricultural Pilot Certification Program to be offered. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding, we are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Agricultural Pilot Certification Program to be offered. For purpose of bettering the safety of agricultural flying, the National Agricultural Aviation Association is launching its Certified Professional Aerial Applicator Safety Steward Program in 2023. The voluntary program will allow aerial applicators, crop duster pilots, who strive to constantly educate themselves to better their flying safety and the accuracy and efficiency of their applications to be recognized for their efforts. Agricultural pilots seeking to earn c pass designation during the program's 2023 inaugural year will need to jump through the following hoops, with additional hoops forthcoming. Annual membership in NAAA 2023, Annual membership in a state or regional agricultural aviation association in 2023, annual pass attendance out of the past three years, and biennial operation safe participation, one out of the last two years, or both 2022 and or 23. 
Operation Safe Fly-In Clinics offer aerial applicators opportunity to verify the accuracy of their aircraft onboard delivery systems to ensure precise application of chemical agents, thereby safeguarding the investments of growers and the safety of the general public. CPAS certification is offered solely to agricultural pilots and will need to be renewed annually. The initial annual cost of certification is $100. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.